Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, this video is going to be hopefully the start of a series of videos where I give really quick demos of certain um, fonts or doodles that I do a lot in my planner. This first video is about this sort of offset bubble lettering font that I do a lot in my spreads. I don't really have an official name for it, but I just found it to be a really easy way to add color and also just make my spreads look a lot better. I marked in some examples of when I use these fonts. So this is one example and um, here I used it twice. For the materials you're obviously going to need paper and if you're interested in adding color then you will need some sort of marker. Um, you can also use watercolors or whatever you have really. Um, you guys know my favorite markers for my planner are the Tombow dual brush pen markers. There is a brush tip and a bullet tip. But again, you can use any marker that you have or you can completely omit the color. But of course, the crucial part is the outline and I'm just using gel pens. Uh, this is the Pentel Energel. So before I get started with the demo, these are the main quote-unquote rules that I follow. So for each of the characters, the left side downstrokes and what I mean by downstroke is literally just when your pen goes down. So in these cases, I put a lot of pressure down so that the lines are wider. And then for the right downstrokes, I tend to use a little bit less pressure so that the lines are thinner. The only exceptions are the letters M, N, and Y. And you will see demos of that later on. Another thing is that the horizontal lines are thin, so you can see that for the H and the A. Um, this is true also for E, so um, again, downstrokes are thick and then the horizontal strokes are thin. This is a little bit too thin for my liking, but um, you get the point. And if you're using a brush pen like the Tombow markers, um, you can just hold it horizontally like this and it'll create really thin lines. And then lastly for characters like um, B, D, N, M, uh, the upstrokes are also tend to be thinner like this. So for the N, again, the downstroke is thick and then the upstroke is thin and then the downstroke is thick because N is one of the exceptions that I have here. Another example is, for example, the letter G. Um, the downstroke is thick, you put down pressure, and then as you go up, you let go, and the horizontal line is thin. And then lastly, I actually forgot to write this one. So I call this font like an offset bubble lettering font, and that is because I always leave a little bit of white space to the left side, and you can see that my outlining is definitely not perfect. I think it just gives a really fun and playful look.
So that is about it for this very quick video. Um, if you're interested in more quick tutorials, definitely let me know and I can definitely do more. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!